Hey guys, this is Mark, and I got a uh, an exercise for the neurodiverse couple to do. The reason that you're struggling in your neurodiverse relationship, let's use the example of the NT wife and the ASD husband, is because both parties feel unsafe. It's just that simple. Why do they feel unsafe? Because trust has been broken, okay? Both parties feel unsafe because trust has been broken. So, what's the exercise? I would like for you, both parties, to get a, get a piece of paper and write down their two or three reasons. I don't, don't go more than three. One would probably be good enough. Three is max. List uh, the reasons that you feel unsafe. And you're not accusing your spouse of making you feel unsafe. You're not going to say, well, these are the things that you've done that makes me feel... No, 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 no. Your spouse didn't make you anything. These things are what you have downloaded as dangerous things, threatening things. So don't make it about, well, you did this to me. No, this is... This is what's going on inside of me. These things make me feel unsafe. And it, it does have something to do with you, my partner or spouse. And your, your partner and spouse is gonna write down the two or three things that makes him or her feel unsafe. And then you're gonna sit down and you're gonna compare notes, okay? These are my two or three things. And I see you have two or three things. And now that's step one. Step two is if I were to video record you saying or doing things that help me to feel safe, or maybe it's some things you could avoid saying or doing that would help me feel safe, this is what it would be. So you're going to have a second list. These are the things that you could do or say or avoid doing or saying that might facilitate me feeling safer. And when I feel safer and you feel safer, Trust will be restored. Then and only then can we actually have a conversation about problem solving some relationship issues. You guys want to jump straight to the problem solving. Oh, I got a problem and I need to talk about it now. You, just go beat your head against a brick wall. It'll be a lot less painful and get more accomplished. You got to fix the trust issue and the safety issue first. That has to happen first before you can even have a conversation about problem solving. If you have a problem with uh, your spouse not following through with something or something that he or she always says or does something that results in more work for you or you're not meeting my emotional needs, yada, yada, yada. No, waste of time. You got to go back to home plate which is we have to restore trust. We have to restore safety. So here's the assignment again. Both parties are gonna list the things that make them feel, that have resulted in them feeling unsafe. You're not blaming the other partner for doing it to you. This is your download. And these are the things that are all, that also have broken trust. Your partner's gonna do the same thing. Then you're gonna have a second list. These are the things, dear husband or dear wife, that you could be saying or doing, or avoiding saying or doing, that might facilitate me feeling safe again. Both parties are gonna share that list. And uh, then, hopefully, trust can be restored. Then, and only then, can you begin to work on the, the secondary and tertiary things that are going wrong in the relationship. Okay? That's your assignment. And in the comments below, I would love to uh, see your lists. Two lists. These are the things that I have downloaded. These are the ways I have perceived my spouse's behavior such that it made me feel unsafe and these things have broken trust. And 
here's a few things that my partner could do or say that might restore my trust in him or her, which then in turn would help me feel safe again. You gotta deal with the safety factor first.